Hey everyone, Techni here with a hot off the press, just recently announced product here. And let me tell you what, we have an absolute gem. And that is the new Zowie FK mouse here, the FKB Davina. You, you know what we need to do just to make this a little bit better? Give me one second. All right, so there we go. We're gonna drop the red. Now I can't change that. That's always red right there. But we're gonna go with the baby blue right here. It's not too often you're gonna catch Techni in something other than black, white, and red. But as some of you know, the Davina mice, they come in a baby pink and then a baby blue right there. And the meaning behind that is just to support and encourage girls as far as uh, esports gaming and then gaming in general, which I think is an absolute fantastic message. So as far as the mice we have right here, we have the FK1 plus B Davina, FK1 B Davina, FK2B Davina. And as you can see, they are baby blue is the option we have right here. They're also gonna be available in the pink. And then later on down the road in the future, they will be available in the black version as well. Now I know the number one biggest question on your mind right now is what is different with the new FK series compared to the old one. And there's honestly quite a few upgrades within the new FK series here. Number one, the sensors updated. They're all using the Pixar 3360 sensor now. Number two is the side buttons are removed on the right side of the mouse. And number three, the cable attachment coming out of the mouse right here is actually raised up and it's within the body as far as the frame and everything, not just a little rubber piece coming out of it. So you're always gonna maintain that raised cable coming out of it right there to prevent that drag right on your mouse pad. The dimensions are fairly similar. Coming in here with the FK1 Plus and the FK1 at 131 millimeters in length, going down to the FK2B is right at 128 millimeters. They drop the weight. With the FK1 Plus coming in at 86 grams, FK1 coming in at 84, and then the FK2 coming in at 80 grams. Each mouse really suits a different grip style. You know, you kind of think about the measurements of your hand, or that's what we all ask, oh, well, how big is your hand? Which each, each of these mice right here, when I use them playing different games and everything, it more or less complemented each grip style rather than the size of my hand. And talking about what I'm saying there, as far as it's not really the dimensions of your hand, it's really your play style or your grip style, you know? And I'm gonna start off right here with the FK1 Plus B, which is the biggest version right here. It's the widest one, we'll say like that. And this mouse is absolutely fantastic. Fills out the hand pretty nice, really nice palm grip. I can bring it up into a claw too as well. I feel it back in my palm, just a pinch, not bad by any means. But again, it really feels out the hand. Very, very fantastic for palm grip. Down here on the side, it doesn't swoop in too drastically, so your hands are still very comfortable. On the back tail, and it just flares out just a little bit, nice and mild slope, nothing drastic by any means. So again, your hand can rest back there very comfortably. And I was using the FK1 Plus more or less playing games like Destiny and stuff. It's kind of like you got that little mixture, right? Slow and steady, and then bam, you're into this really fast paced kind of game mode, right? They're really shooting around and going all sorts of fast motion with your mouse right there. It was just perfect, because again, you're getting that fast motion right there, or a really nice, comfortable palm grip. So again, the FK1 Plus is bigger, and it really suited me for, again, that more medium-paced game style. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump right into the FK1B right here, the one right in the middle. And this is almost like that sweet spot, right? Because I can still get a very comfortable palm grip, you know, playing some Destiny, some Call of Duty and stuff, but I can bring it into that really perfect claw right there, as far as my hands being that medium size right there. But again, I really put this one as that claw and hybrid palmish, I'd say. Again, putting the FK1 Plus B really more or less onto the palm grip. This one is kind of like that mix right in between right there. You can bam, pop it in and out, and it really fits right there. Kind of suiting a little bit more for faster gameplay. I kind of went to this one more or less for like Call of Duty. Not too fast, not too slow. And again, I can really bring it in and out, and it's right there. And now going down to the FK2B. I was kind of scared that this one would be a little bit too small for me, but it's really not. Again, it brings me into that definite claw slash fingertip. This one, I really can't palm it too well. I mean, I can. I can bring it down to a palm if I'm just taking it easy a little bit here and there. But again, it really puts me into that claw and that, and that uh, fingertip. Definitely more or less into the fingertip. And the FK2B here really suited me very well for some Fortnite gameplay. Because again, we all know Fortnite, you're doing a little bit of building, jumping around more than we should be, you know what I mean? So again, really kind of basing it off gameplay right there in your grip style. For me, I could not use the SK1 Plus 
as far as playing Fortnite right there. It was just too big. Again, it kind of kept me in that palm grip right there. But then going to Fortnite, moving around and getting all crazy, FK2B was absolutely phenomenal. So that's what I kind of really want to stress to you guys. It's not really the measurement of your hand. It's really your play style and your grip style across all three of these mice. All right, so just a really quick recap right here. Starting over here with the FK1 Plus Dash B. I don't know if we need to say the Dash B during all of them. I don't know, we will. But anyways, the FK1 Plus Dash B over here, very great as far as palm and claw, kind of that medium to slow paced gameplay. Again, very great for like a Destiny type of gameplay. Bring it right down here to the FK1 Dash B. Very nice medium gameplay, very fantastic Call of Duty. Get that palm, get into that really quick uh, claw grip right there, get some fast motion going on. Then bring it right down here to the FK2. Definitely the smaller of the bunch right there, and you can feel it. Kind of a little tougher to get that palm grip. Definitely claw and a fingertip right there, but great for Fortnite or very, very fast gameplay because this guy you can just whip around. But the great thing across all of them and every single grip style, they were all incredibly comfortable. Again, no drastic slopes or drop-ins on any of them. Every single grip style was very, very comfortable. And also talking about grip style, these all do have the glossy coat. And this was my first time using a glossy mouse. And I was kind of worried. I live in a very humid hot climate and I get some sweaty palms when I game to be honest with you so I was kind of worried that these things are going to be slipping and sliding all around on me but let me tell you what I was incredibly shocked they don't actually slide around it's a very nice soft coat we all know a lot of other mice even some zowie mice they got that matte finish on them and they really attract some sweat and some fingerprints what I really love about these is they don't. You don't really see your fingerprints or anything on it. It just blends right into the glossiness right there. But seriously, they don't slip and slide on you. It's a fantastic feel across every mouse and every single grip style. All right, so now kind of jumping into one of the other changes as well. I'm gonna give you that sound test right here coming up, but we're also gonna talk about the removal of the side buttons on the right side of the mouse. All right, so as far as that sound test right there, I mean, this thing is crispy. I mean, wow, these side buttons are some of the clickiest I have ever heard. And talking about the side buttons being incredibly crispy, again, with the removal of the right side buttons right there, so you still have that ambi shape, but again, the buttons are off on this side, which I think that's how they reduced a lot of the weight, removed the switches over there, and then the buttons and everything, so bam, we got to reduce all of that weight right there. But it's so nice, again, going back to any grip style, as I've been stating right there, you don't feel obviously you have no buttons to accidentally press but you don't have that other uh, concave or those buttons over there pressing on your hand it's just a very smooth motion going all the way around and again it just feels fantastic like I've been staying through the whole video as far as every single mouse with every grip style and I think the removal of those buttons right there really complements that because again it's just that smooth flow going all the way around to every single finger there and it feels fantastic all right now let's take a look at the front of the mouse this is where you can see that wire shooting out the front right up there and then you actually see the frame coming out so it's really nice it's not just that little rubber flex up there and it's going to eventually drop down onto your mouse pad for you pretty much no matter what it's always going to have that initial lift off right there off your mouse pad which is fantastic to eliminate that initial drag right from the mouse to the cable but if we go up a little bit further taking a look at the scroll wheel right here it is fantastic look how low recessed that it is right there so it's really nice when you're in game you don't got to lift up your finger super high bam just roll it over and it is right there now yes the fkb series right here is using the same scroll wheel where it sounds like you have a card stuck in a spoke of your bike or something like that honestly at first when i started using these zowie mice in that scroll wheel right there it almost got a little annoying to me. I was like, wow, well, this is stinking loud. But now that I use a Zowie mouse just about every day, I love it. And every other scroll wheel feels weird to me, especially in gaming. Like I plant a lot of claymores or I use my middle button for like grenades, claymores or stuff like that, you know, special ability. So I'm pressing it quite often. Some other mice tend to roll after that, right? You know what I mean? The Zowie just has very pronounced steps right here. And when you press it in, it holds its position, no accidental slides, presses, or anything. 
Probably one of my favorite scroll wheels right now. Now this mouse is also plug and play. No software needed. Plug it in, bam, and you are all set to go. You have some preset DPIs, which you have your DPI button right on the bottom of the mouse right here. You have 400, 800, 1600, and 3200, and the light changes colors as you switch it right there. You also have a USB report rate, which is 125, 500, or 1000, which again, the button's right on the bottom of the mouse right there no software needed. And you might be asking yourself, well, heck man, which one should I pick? And like I stated before, I want you to go back in the video and kind of think about and listen to what I talked about with each different grip style right there. Don't worry about the measurements of your hand or anything. Worry about your grip style and your play style. Me personally, not being a very competitive gamer, I play a lot of FPS games right there and I love winning, but I'm not, you know, going all sorts of crazy right here. I really like the FK1 Plus because again, I can bring it back to my claw like I stated before, but I always prefer a very nice palm grip right there. And the FK1 was just that perfect combination right there for me, and I really loved the way it felt. Not saying anything bad about the other ones, because again, when I played Fortnite, I had to go to the FK2. So I don't know if I can really pick which one's my favorite right here. Again, if you're just gonna pick one of them, go back into the video and watch it and decipher what is your preferred grip style and play style. And that's how you're gonna be able to decide which one's right for you. All right, so all in all, with the new FKB Zowie Mice right here, worth the upgrade? I say hands down, easy pick. Great upgrade as far as the dimensions, the removal of the buttons right there, the raised wire, the new sensor, the lightweight. I mean, it is a perfect combo and a fantastic upgrade here. But hey, if you wanna see some other Zowie Mice reviews, I have plenty of the other ones on there, the EC2, and then I also have the S1. We also have many other Zowie Mice coming up for review. So make sure you go check some of those out and smash that subscribe button to check out some of the upcoming Zowie Mice reviews as well. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I highly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.